We're talking about knowledge of the future in movies, YouTube channel, Easter Egg Psychic. In this video, I'll take a look at actor Jeff Corey. He was in the 1951 superhero film Superman and the Mole Men, based on the DC comic book. Also in this was George Reeves and Phyllis Coates. He was in the original Star Trek television series episode, The Cloud Minders, in 1969. This aired on NBC. Actress Diana Ewing, Fred Williamson, William Shatner, and Leonard Nimoy, also part of this cast. He was also in True Grit, the original 1969 Western, starring John Wayne and actress Kim Darby, based on the Charles Portis 1968 novel. Others in this cast include Robert Duvall, Dennis Hopper, Struther Martin, and Wilford Brimley. So I took a look at Jeff Corey. I thought he may resemble actor Al Pacino and possibly another or a group of others. In Star Trek, The Cloud Minders, I thought he may resemble movie director Stanley Kubrick. The connection could be Kubrick's unrealized project on French Emperor Napoleon Bonaparte. And according to many sources, this was a movie project the director may have wanted to produce more than any other. He began putting this together following 2001 A Space Odyssey in 1968. But he was never able to get this project made. And apparently Kubrick had a screenplay completed for this according to news in recent years, director Steven Spielberg may produce an adaptation based on this. One of the actors Kubrick had in mind to play Napoleon was apparently Al Pacino. Alright, connections. Yeah, I think uh, Superman is a major link here. As I mentioned, Corey was in the 1951 Superman and the Mole Men movie. He also did some work on the 1978 Superman film with Christopher Reeve. He reportedly directed some of the screen tests for this, which can be seen in the DVD extras for Superman. And he took on the role of villain Lex Luthor in several of the tryouts for the film. All right, so the link to Al Pacino is through writer Mario Puzo. Puzo was a co-writer on the Superman screenplay. And he wrote the original novel, The Godfather. This was published in 1969. He later co-wrote the screenplay for the Francis Ford Coppola movie adaptation in 1972. All right, other links. The 1970 drama, Cover Me Babe. Robert Forrester, Sandra Locke, Sam Waterston, and Jeff Corey were in this. Reportedly, director Noel Black was interested in casting the then young and unknown actor Al Pacino as Tony Hall, his lead eventually played by Robert Forrester. My YouTube channel is Easter Egg Psychic. There I go back and look at movies and television from the past. I analyze these for possible references to future media. These may appear in the form of anecdotes, idioms, anagrams, hidden in the subtext of the work in question. I also use an unconventional method where I look at the likenesses of the actors. And what I found is you can take the likenesses, match these up to some of the anecdotal items, and show past, present, and future information about actors and other personalities or may resemble the personalities in the movie or television episode that you're watching. My email contact is easteregguy, that's G-U-Y, at yahoo.com. Thanks for watching.